Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to ask, should you produce content as a software developer? Okay, so here we are. It's episode number 400. So when we did episode 200 and episode 300, it did this little montage of previous clips. We're not going to bother with that today, right? There's just, there's just too much there to put in there. And maybe we'll do it at episode 500, but 400 is kind of like a, eh, it's like turning 19, right? It's not 18, it's not 21, it's just sort of 19, right? So those of you guys I know out there are 19. Others of us still remember what it was like. The letdown after the 18th birthday is kind of a, eh. So anyway, the thing I'm most proud of over the last 100 episodes is that we haven't missed a day. So when I started uh, doing the daily videos in January of 2017, we did five days a week. There were some weeks where I would miss a day and we did four. And I think there was one week where we only did three in the week. Right? But earlier this year, we started doing seven days a week. And over the last... 100 episodes at least. We haven't missed a single day. So I'm, I'm kind of proud of that, right? But I don't know whether or not we'll be able to get to 500 episodes or not. Even just the other day, I got a comment from somebody saying, hey, haven't you already covered this topic before? And I couldn't remember covering it. I mean, it's just, there's just so much content going out there that that may be the case, but you know, it was a new video, right? If, if it's something that was that important, obviously I talked about it twice and everything like that, which, which leads me to the topic I want to talk about today, which is the other day I was in the, I was in the pub and I was, I was talking to an 18 year old uh, kid, Eight, you know, it was a, a friend of, a friend of mine, it was his son. So just having a chat with him and he, we were talking about doing YouTube and all this kind of stuff. And he was asking whether or not it was important to do like blogs or vlogs or or social media and all that kind of stuff and my answer to him was my initial answer to him was yes i, th I think it is important i mean years ago i read the uh one of the gary vaynerchuk books where he said you know regardless of what your company is you are a marketing company and i always think about you're a content company rather so i always think about that kind of stuff like yeah so you should always be putting out content and then i thought you know what, maybe that's not necessarily true. I think it's, if, you're, if you don't know what else to do, do that. But as software developers, there's other ways we could do stuff too. The important thing is you have to realize the, the huge workforce that's out there, the huge population. Your know, software is easy to get into, uh, but hard to master. So you have to show that you've, you've mastered this in some way. And do, putting content out there, I mean, that could really do it. So like if you could do a nice tutorial, if you, find, if you go in there and you find a bug or something that just you just could not find anything, you spent days in Stack Overflow when you found the solution to it, then yeah, it, I, I think it's your civic responsibility to put a blog out there or put something out there that helps other people so they don't have to go through what, what you went through, right? But there's also things like contributing to Stack Overflow and contributing to open source projects and everything like that. The key is not so much producing content, but the key is to put yourself out there, put yourself in front of people and be able to show people that you know what you're doing. Right? The amount of times I've read CVs or you know, people have sent me through CVs, I mean, and this is for Overpass and for all the companies that I've worked for where they wanted me to look through CVs for them. There's very few people who are putting out content as software developers. They think it's, it's beneath them or that's not their thing or they're, you know, they're, they're more introverted. Hey man, as software developers, I think we're all pretty, pretty much introverted. You know, we just, you know, we, we, we could spend hours upon hours in front of the computers without talking to anybody. So it's, it's sometimes it's a little bit more of a stretch to do that. We can't assume it's just like a certain type of person who does that. We have to force ourselves to put content out there, not necessarily through video, but through blogs and, and everything like that. But the, the key is, is just to demonstrate you know what you know, right? Software, like I said, it has a, a very low barrier to entry, but it's hard to master, right? And if you start to master it, which you will after a certain amount of time, if you're doing new things all the time, you know, and, and trying to work in different situations and working on open source projects, it's, you know, it's something I haven't done a lot of, but I think it's, it's a lot of allowing you to work with other developers and working in a team environment, even if you don't happen to be in a corporate environment with a team. So I think that's important. So, so the, when I was, I was always talking to this kid, I was, the more I started thinking about it, I said, actually, you know what? Maybe producing content is not necessary. I mean, how many beginner's Android tutorials do you need out there? 
right? I think if we all produce content, we would just be overloaded with content. We would never have time to look at other people's content because we're too busy producing our own. But I think it's just getting yourself out there and having something that you can demonstrate that you know what you're doing and that you know what you're talking about. I mean, when we get clients, if the client finds me, I'm in a much better position than if I find them. Because if I find them, I have to convince them that I'm worth talking to. If they find me, you know, it's, it's the opposite. They found me because they think that I'm worth talking to. Anyway, those are just my ideas for today. Pretty excited about episode 400. We'll see how far we can get this thing to go. If there's anything you guys wanted to cover or let's take other, other areas to cover over the next 100 videos, please let me know because, you know, let's try something different over the next 100. Anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Fight, as long as I'm still